Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, February 19th, 2013. We're very blessed to be in the studio with California Wives. California Wives. Thank you. Audio Tree Live. Beautiful, you guys. Hey, I'm really interested from, to hear from all of y'all, sort of like when you were growing up, what, what was your earliest musical memory when you were growing up? We'll start with you, Joe. Because I made that face. Yeah, you did. You made the <laughs> face, and you're to my right, and everybody else looks even more confused than you, maybe. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, um, what, you know, what was your earliest musical memory? Earliest musical memory. I mean, um, you know, one that you might want to share. Actually, well, I sort of remember this. My brother reminds me of, of this all the time. He he claims that um, the reason I played drums is because he used to like drive me around in his uh, Chevy Cavalier that he used to have, and like listen to the Smashing Pumpkins and like make me air drum like constantly. Yes. So that was like. And he was he was older, so I was like that's beautiful. Sure. Five? That was pretty early. Yeah, that's it. big time early, yeah. man. Air drumming to smashing pumpkins at five. Yeah. That's dope. There you go. Oh, that's a good one, Joe. Nice. Jason. Um I was lucky enough to uh, my mom worked at a record store. She was a bookkeeper. So I got to hang out there during the summers and probably my first memory is like throwing a dinosaur junior record back in where it belonged in the D's. Uh, I don't remember which one, but for some reason that image keeps coming up in my head. So. Yeah, like the actual LP, like records? Was, you know, I wish it was. It would be a lot cooler. It was a CD. But they did have vinyl there, so. No dope, dude. Cool. Nice. Nice. Come on. Uh, my, my dad played piano for a long time. Um, he's kind of a sandbagger. He'll tell you that he didn't, but he did. <laughs> and uh, when I was really little, um, he used to, I think, like put me on his lap and just play melodies and stuff like that yeah. so you know i don't know i was probably two or three like pretty tiny but 
dig it. And I also remember seeing a guitar for the first time and thinking it was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen in my life, just with no frame of reference, which was weird. So, yeah. yeah what is this wooden thing? Yeah. With it? What kind of music was he playing? Uh, he used to put on uh, pretty eclectic stuff. He liked, you know, like the Beatles or Van Morrison and stuff like that. And he just improvised little melodies or try to pick it out every once in a while. Just 10, 15 minutes, just sit there to, you know, do something for a little while. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. How about you, Tommy Trafton? Let's see. I think, um, can't remember that, that far back, but fifth grade, I remember my first uh, piano lesson. I, I hated, hated the instrument <laughs> at first. You know, because they start you on, like, classical music, so it's all, like, the fingering and, like, all that kind of stuff. But um, I'm glad I stuck with it, so. Tom. Once I started, you know, learning Beatles tunes and stuff on, on piano, I'm like, all right, I can get with this. Right. I can do this. The sun came out so. for you a little bit. Right, exactly. Yeah. Nice. Damn. Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks? Uh, <laughs> my mom's, uh, all I listened to in the car with my mom was uh, country music. And I remember I'd heard a bunch of Car- Garth Brooks songs like uh, Thunder Rolls, whatever that one was called. And uh, I saw a picture of him in like a magazine, like a People magazine or something at the grocery store. And I remember thinking that he was too fat to be a really famous singer. Whoa. I was like, that's what that guy looks like? Because he seems like, I mean, he's like, a, oh, he's a superstar. He's like this handsome dude with a, you know, a cowboy hat. But he's actually kind of chubby and, you know, had to sort of tuck his shirt in to make it look a little more svelte. So right. He wore a lot of silk shirts, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. A lot of silk shirts. Oh, dude, he that. had the dopest style, dude. Nobody wore cowboy shirts like that. I remember that green, <laughs> red, blue, black one he wore where each kind of sector of his body was divided by a color. Oh, yeah. No doubt. It looked like a Risk game board or something. <laughs> this shit was for real. <laughs> for sure. We're in the studio with California Wives. Thanks for being here, you guys. For sure. Thanks, man. This one is called L.A.
California Wives, Audio Tree Live, Chicago. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. Hey, man, I want to hear from you guys in regards to your, your favorite Saturday night record when you're at the house and you want to chill out. Or maybe you want to blow out. <laughs> chill out or blow out. But what's your favorite Saturday night record? Just, you know, put on front to back, listen to it all the way through, never skip a track. We'll start over here this time. Yeah. We'll start over here. Well, Saturday night, I mean, so you're like... You're saying chill out or, like, dance, have fun? Hey, like I said, you know, I like to spend my Saturday nights sometimes chilling out. So chilling it could be out. a chill out record. Sure. But it could be, you know, if you like to spend your Saturday nights blowing out. You okay, can, no. Well, that's, so a, yeah, that's the thing. No, too. I definitely don't do any of that. No. Your favorite <laughs> uh, Saturday night record. Maybe man. Disintegration by The Cure. That's a great, you yeah. know, it's, it's long. It's, you know, a big, long CD record where it's, like, 70 minutes or something. You totally. can just put it on and just sort of get into it. Pictures of you over yeah, and over exactly, again. for yeah. sure. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Tommy, how about you, man? Saturday um, Night Record. I guess a little more blowing out. Uh, Pixies, uh, Doolittle. Yeah. Been, been into that recently. Classic. The past four Saturday nights. You there know. you go. Boom, yeah. boom. Yeah. There you, there it's all happening right in front of us. It's a good one. Graham. <coughs> I, uh, Don't let the new wave band thing fool you. I'm a guitar nerd, so uh, probably like the first Van Halen record or like Women and Children First, maybe. Dope. I thought you were going to say like Al Di Miola or something. No, I mean, I I, I like that guy. I got to be honest with you. I mean, I respect him a lot. Yeah, dude. um, I wouldn't really listen to a lot of his music, but I respect him. But yeah, I love love like late 70s, early 80s, hard rock. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, man. Rad. Mm -hmm. Jason? Uh, Paul McCartney, Band on the Run. That's That's my jam. That's my record for sure. I mean... Obviously, I like all the Beatles records, and but Paul McCartney is definitely my Beatle, and uh, that record is really awesome front to back. So, Word. yeah, man, yeah, man. Joe, uh, chill out uh, would be Enter the Wu Tang. <laughs> yeah, man. Thirty Six Chambers. Oh yes, sure. yep. Just just sit back and bob your head, and then Blow Out would be Body Talk by Robin. That's what I would blow oh, yeah. out. Okay. Right. There we go. He's blowing our minds over there. We you play see? them all simultaneously, too, <laughs> yeah. when we hang out. I usually I just mash them up when I'm not sure what I want. I just put them together. Right, it's like Dark Side of the Moon and Wizard of Oz and shit. Play them backwards. Yeah. We're in the, studio with Calif- in the studio with California Wives. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Uh, okay. Better home, guys? Yeah.
California Wives. Thank you. Audio Tree Live. All right, you guys, we've we've meandered our way to the psychoanalytical portion of the session here. Here we go. I'm wondering if you had to pick a life form other than human, what life form would you choose to be? Animal, vegetable, mineral, science fiction or fantasy? Dolphin. Dolphin, Joe. Definitely dolphin. Yeah, man. I mean, probably maybe even ahead of human, like especially considering how cold it is outside right now. I might think about it. Yeah. There you go. Uh, <laughs> whale shark. Whale shark. Because, I like. well, I studied marine bio a little bit in college, so I got familiar with those guys. But uh, they look really menacing. They look really mean, but they're... Whale shark. They're, they're really... Is it well, more they don't, of a whale or a shark? It's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both, but it doesn't feed on humans or meat of any does sort. It, does Just it like breathe you. oxygen or does it breathe underwater? Under it's it's like a shark. It's built like a shark. It is a shark, but okay. but you know, it's just kind of kind of menacing. It looks like it's gonna cause trouble, and then it comes by and just eats a bunch of plankton. <laughs> you know, I like that. And it gets to swim with Joe in the ocean. Yeah, man, you guys are chilling. You're hanging out. Grant, what about you, man? Um, I'd probably be a a bulldog. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got a bulldog. I have one, Dumb. and his life is really easy and pretty fun. You know, yeah, man. He just like eats and plays and has a good time. A lot of love. Yeah, that's it's you know it's, it's subsidized completely. You know, yeah, yeah. It's you can life. sing "Hey Bulldog" to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we play all the time. It's great. Yeah, yeah. dope, dope. Tommy, what about you? Probably a similar vein, a cat. Yeah. Uh, that's a good one. Very too. easy <laughs> life. It's yeah. a great all life. they have to do is eat and then plan on where they're gonna sit next or sleep next, and then right. they have to remember to wake up and eat again so litter box is all sorted out by human hands oh yeah and they're clean and you know they don't have to do much a cat cat's where it's yeah, at nice well taking care of cat i like it no too. thumbs man no opposable thumbs i never i never use these things <laughs> <laughs> see that's i was gonna go with chimp and I, I all three of us are going like the easy life route see i like the idea that the chimp is like basically as smart as a person almost but has no responsibilities because, you know, if you could live as a human with no responsibilities, like if you were just born a billionaire or something, that'd be great. But obviously everybody has to go to work, find some kind of life to lead. But <laughs> chimps just kind of, they hang around, they eat, you know, they... They clean bugs off each yeah, other exactly, and stuff. Yeah, exactly, sure. Yeah, and they have a nice little community Yeah, it, there, takes, it so. takes a village, man. Yeah, for sure. Dude, where where would you want to be? You think as this monkey? Well, where chimps are native to Africa, right? Yeah, but they're they, you know they're or in they, India as well. That's, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. They can also be probably very just, violent too. Probably just as oh man, they they can be vicious. Are you sure, bro? you don't want to go bonobo. <laughs> <laughs> Those are yeah. Does he have a hidden temper? Because then it would be perfectly. Uh, no, 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 pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty no, I wouldn't want to be a pet though. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a pet chimp. No. No, no, dope. No, no, in the wild. Yeah. For in sure. the wild. Maybe Jane. Or a zoo, whatever. Or Jane, Jane Goodall style, maybe. <laughs> yeah, dope. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, wild, wild. Not zoo. Not zoo. No way. It's been beautiful having you guys in here today, man. Thanks so much for coming in Thank and you. sharing your music and your Thank vibe you. with us. You have a recent record that just came out called Art Art History. Mm -hmm. Congratulations Thank on you. that, you guys. Thank and, you And uh, you guys got you got new album, got new songs in the works? Uh, well, you know, we're kind of working this record. Um, we usually play as, you know, he usually plays a drum set, uh, and we play guitars. It's actually, when you come to a live show, it's a pretty guitar-driven show. So I think right now we're working on these alternate versions of these songs. We kind of like stretching their legs a little bit and seeing what they can do. Excellent. So that's why we're all here. So we're doing that, and we just filmed a bunch of live videos for our record. So we're excited about that, and yeah. Excellent. Thanks so much, Jason. Thank you very much for we're, having us, man. Yeah, man. The pleasure's ours, man. Thank you. Thank we're you. in the studio with California Wives. This is Audio Tree Live. Let me get my sound here. These analog synths, you know. Song's called Marianne.
California Wives on Audio Tree Live. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, Jason. Jason, Graham, Daniel, Tommy, Joe. Thank you guys for coming in. Cool. Thank you Thank guys you. so much. Man, let's give our engineers a big round of applause. Yeah. Our Jedi engineers, Patrick and Rick, always dialing up. Our videographers as well, Justin, Jane, Megan, Brian, Kellen, Lauren, Blake, Michael, Adam in the house. It's been an awesome day. Thanks, you guys. Thanks again for coming in, man. This has been Audio Tree Live for Tuesday, February 19th, 2013. We've been in the studio with California Wives. My name is DJ Evil Vince. Everybody have a very safe and beautiful day. Treat each other right. Good night. Dudes! <laughs>